Hello, my fellow wizards, witches, half-bloods, mudbloods, squibs, muggle-borns, and muggles. <laughs> Today we are playing Harry, po Harry Potter, Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, if you guys watched, if you missed the last episode, we actually beat the game. But there's still more to do. In fact, we have a quest right now that's related to the end story. Uh, Ominous wants to speak to us in the Undercroft because we decided to turn Sebastian in, which I'm still not sure that was the right thing to do, but here we go. Let's see what Ominous has to say. I hope they don't send Sebastian to Azkaban, although maybe he deserves it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Does, does Sebastian deserve Azkaban? Hey, Ominous. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. Ominous, I received your owl. What's happened with I changed Sebastian? our clothes, by He's the way. He's been expelled <gasps> and will soon face trial at the ministry. <gasps> Although Anne wanted to turn him in, I think now she's torn. I confess I know how she feels. As much as we all wanted Sebastian to face the consequences of his actions, it will never be the same without him. Just standing here in the Undercroft without Sebastian feels wrong. Did we do the wrong thing, you guys? <laughs> I'm gonna empathize. Sympathize? I don't understand the difference. I'm gonna sympathize with him. I never thought things would end this way. I hope we did the right thing. I hope so too. Were you able to tell Sebastian about Rookwood cursing Anne? I was. Black let me talk to Sebastian before he left. At first he wouldn't believe it. Then he realized it all made sense. Unfortunately, his anger only grew towards goblins and dark wizards. Mm -hmm. Anne was shocked too, but in some sense relieved to know the truth about who was responsible. Yeah. I think it brought her some peace. I'm glad to hear it. She deserves peace. <laughs> she does. Sebastian was my best friend. I can't imagine Hogwarts or anywhere without him. I know you two had grown close, that you were helping each other with more than just finding a cure for Anne. He never gave specifics, but I know it was important. He meant, means, a lot to us both. I hope we get the chance to tell him that one day. I know we had a bit of a rocky start, but you've proven yourself as a friend. Oh, I'm glad you came to Hogwarts. Quest complete in the shadow of friendship. I wonder what would have happened had we decided to not turn Sebastian in. How would that have ended? I don't know. I guess we'll never find out. Or will we if we replay the game? Maybe like in a year we'll replay it. You know, when we've had time to like forget what happens in the story <laughs> okay you guys we do have a main quest item to do however we also have a few other things to do so i don't want to do the last main quest this i think this has got to be like the very last thing we ever do as part of the main quest so let's put that off just a teeny teeny bit and let's do this for natty let's go find natty that ending was epic I loved the end of the game. Like, it was so good. <laughs> it was so good. The story just wrapped up so nicely, and it was just so much fun playing that last. It was challenging, but it wasn't impossible. That's how I like my games to be. Challenging, but not impossible. Oh, yeah, I remember our group for... Our group. Oh, we should have we gone to our bestiary to say hi to him. We'll do that when we go back, you guys. We'll go to our bestiary. Wait, is he still in my... Is he in my mount? Oh, he's still here. We can ride him. X. Time for a jaunt, I'd say. <laughs> I forgot we still had him. This guy is great. Look at him. Isn't he cool? And he has his own his own custom music too. We got to think of a good name for our grip horn. 
<laughs> All right, let's go find Natty. Speak with Natty. Let's let's hurry up here a little bit. There we go. Whoa! You're going too fast there, buddy. Slow down. Slow down. I'm going to fall off and hurt myself. Uh, don't break the fence. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Yeah, it could prove super dangerous. Oh, here we go. We're going to need to stop. Oh, oh. oh! Careful, buddy. Okay, let's get off of this beast. Oh, my gosh. We almost fell off that cliff, you guys. That was dangerous. Okay, is Natty up here? I'm ready to finish Harlow I once feel like and I'm for unstoppable. All. What now is your plan? Now we've beat I received Ramrock. an owl from Mrs. Bickle. She wondered if we were having any luck going after Harlow. Suggested we could gather evidence from a friend near Manor Cape. But she warned us to stay out of it. Was rather adamant about it. Precisely. Harlow knows that we saved Archie. And that we rescued Mr. Rabe. The letter didn't come from Mrs. Bickle. Did it? <gasps> I do not believe it did. Hallow intends to ambush us. But now we have the upper hand. Because we know. We can prepare. Yeah. We are stronger than Hallow, and he knows it. There we are, Natty. That's why he's resorting to this sort of trickery. We must go. Okay. I'm ready. Agreed. Let's finish this. Let's do it. Brilliant. Hallow's reign ends today. Yeah. Perhaps we ought to inform Officer Singer of our plans. Travel to Manor I already Cape sent her Daddy. an owl to let her know that we were following a lead given to us by Mrs. Bickle. Are you concerned she might tell your mother? Indeed she will, but so be it. I am tired of hiding it from her. I need to change my spell set here, you guys. We had this for the final battle because I had to have each color. But I think I want Imperio down here. And then maybe instead of the purple one let's do um let's do bombarda hey we have um we have a talent my mother needs to, to understand that i will not be safe from the ashwinders until everyone is yeah i shall pursue them until they are finished good me too and I daddy think she knows that as do you what oh, did i do I didn't refill my wig and well potions. Dang it. All right, what, what, um, hang on. What, what do we have up here? We used all of our focus potions. We could use some of these. These are fun. Yeah, let's use some of those. Okay. Come on, Natty, we can do this. Keep an eye out. Hollow is likely around here somewhere. Okay. I sense he is close. Wow, this is cool. Where is he? Look at this. I do not know. You should look around. Uh, he's right here. Oh my god. Time for some. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of vicious now, you guys. <laughs> nice try, jerk. <laughs> oh, dang it! Ah. Ah. Ow, that hurt. Ah. Oh, jeez, you guys, this is crazy. Ah. Oh. Oh. Stop petrifying his totalizing me. Yeah, nice try, jerk face. Where'd you go? Oh, they're all dead. Good. Natty, good job. This will not end in your favor. You okay, Natty? Little Nat Sionai, in it? And her excruciatingly loyal companion. 
You two have done quite a bit of damage to my business interests. Good. <laughs> but I must gradually give you some credit. What was once a mere annoyance has become remarkably problematic. Fortunately, I pride myself on my problem-solving skills. Hmm. Your problem-solving skills. Oh, 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 are you okay, Natty? Aha, nice try, sir. <laughs> and guess what I have? A <laughs> body Oh, he did, that didn't kill him? <gasps> he came back for more? Oh, see? I guess the killing curse doesn't always work. That worked. Oh, he's getting back up? Oh, jeez. You're a monster, Theopolis. The Theoph Theophilus. <gasps> Natty, no! Natty! Natty! No! Natty! I mean, I use that spell all the time, but I use it on bad guys. They deserve it. Natty didn't deserve it. <sighs> She'll be okay. It was Crucio, not the Avada Kedavra one. Oh. <sighs> Poor Natty, are you okay? Oh, man. Are you sure you are up for a visitor? Yes, mother. I feel fine, and it will do me good to see my friend. Very well, but do not overdo it, Natsai. I know, mother. All right, let's talk to her. Can we talk to her? Visit Natty? I have to wait till her mom walks away, maybe? There we it go. It is good to see you, my friend. You too, Natty. How you feeling? I'm glad to see you're doing so well. I am doing better than it appears. I am only here because my mother insisted just to be safe. I was relieved when she told me that you were all right. Thanks to you. Only because of you. How are you feeling? <laughs> well, I've had better days, but Nurse Blaney says that I am on the mend. I'm sorry, Natty. It's my fault you got hurt. What? No. Do not blame yourself for this. The moment that I saw Harlow aim his wand at you, well... I've made some really great friends here at Hogwarts, you guys. Uh, let's see, you didn't, you didn't think about it. You just acted. You made a choice to protect me. You quickly made the choice to protect me. I did what I had to, and I would do it again. I could not simply stand there and let you get hurt. Then I shouldn't feel guilty. Of course not. There was nothing that you... Oh, oh my, I cannot believe that it took me this long to see it. See what? He made a choice based on instinct. My father, uh -huh. you, my friend, are no more to blame for my injuries today than I am to blame for my father's sacrifice years ago. From what I know of him, it seems there's a lot of your father in you. <laughs> That's very kind of you to say. I hope that you are right. This has all been a bit much, hasn't it? Yeah. A battle here at Hogwarts. Everything we have done to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot. Mm -hmm. But we have done it. Rookwood is dead, Harlow is on his way to Azkaban, and the rest of them are on the run. Yeah. A few of the dregs will still be about, fighting for their lost cause. But Rookwood's enterprise has fallen apart. Everything is safer now because of us. Because of you. Thank you, but we make a formidable team. You, my fellow traveler, have enriched my time at Hogwarts beyond anything I could have imagined. <laughs> Thank you. I believe your friendship to be one of the most important in my life. Thank you Aww. for coming to visit me. It is always good to see you. 
Yeah, I hope Natty's better soon. It's in the stars. Meet Poppy. Oh, this is the dragon quest in the Forbidden Forest. Oh, geez. Okay, let's let's. This sounds fun. Let's do that. <laughs> right up here. There she is. You came in here by yourself, Poppy. What were you thinking? She's talking to a centaur. And you say they made it after you placed the moonstone. Do you know why or what it means? Does it have to do with the Snidgets? The breadth of one's knowledge can be as wide as the seas, and yet only run so deep. Wow, that's deep. Literally. Let's talk to Poppy. Can we chat, Poppy? Or do we talk to the centaur? Oh, Doran. Let's talk to him. It's good to see you again, Doran. Did Poppy tell you about everything that's happened? She did, and I am glad to see that you are both safely returned. I did question the wisdom of sending you on a path at a time when that path was unknown at best. Deadly at worst. But the acumen of the centaurs is neither personal nor partial. The skies tell us what is to come, and often we do not know what we have seen until it has come to pass. Indeed. You knew the poachers would try and kill Poppy and me. I did not know, my young friend. But I shall say that I was not surprised. It was in much the same manner that I expected our first meeting. I don't suppose you'd like to start from the beginning. I think Poppy and I could use that. Of course. I find it is often the best place to start, is it not? Many, many moons ago, I divined a series of events. Their meaning long evaded me, until you brought news of the Snidgets and their poacher pursuers. Mm -hmm. I believe the symbol created by the moon calves dance marks the place the Snidgets are hidden. And serendipitously, I believe that I know the very place. Please, go on. I have seen that symbol only once on a rock face in the cliffs of the forest. You should make haste there. The snidgets that have been kept there for so many years may no longer be safe. Oh, what are we doing? Okay. You said you divined a series of events before our paths crossed. What were they? I saw the arrival of a stranger, the threat of an enemy, and the return of an old friend. I believe now that you are the strangers, Mm. The poachers are the enemy, and the old friends are the snidgets. I also saw two places tied to these events. The cave with the moonstone, and the henge. The latter was bathed in moonlight. Oh. What makes you so sure the symbol is where the snidgets are? I do not know. It is what I have read in the stars. Fortunes play out as they are intended. I am merely a messenger. I shall say that fortune favors us today. Fortune that favors you would the bold. show me a symbol whose provenance I recognize is not coincidence, but fate. If you're right about this place, then we should make our way there. I shall see you there. Okay. We cannot afford to lose the Snidgets once again. Yeah. How remarkable. Indeed. Hello, Poppy. I got here as soon as I could. Did you see the symbol above the entrance? No. It's the one the Mooncalf's made at the Henge. Oh. Of course, Doran implied as much, but to see it up there. Could this actually be where the Snidgets are hidden? Let's find out. Doran's waiting for us just up ahead. I'm ready if you are. Okay. Can you believe it? I Actual can't. Snidgets. No. I'm glad we seem to be a step ahead of the poachers. Yeah. It is a little strange we haven't heard anything from them. If we're lucky, they're still poring over Gran's research. There was a fair amount. We, on the other hand, on had way? Doran to guide us. Even if the poachers do somehow stumble upon this place, yeah. we shall be long gone. That was the symbol we saw on the other side that she was talking about? The one the moon calves did? <laughs> oh, that's the measles! Hi, guys! Hi, Neezies. I like the Neezles. 
Is there anything in here? Revelio. Hmm. Are we going to fight a troll? I thought I saw a troll over there. <gasps> oh! Spiders. Oh, what is Greetings. this? I hope we haven't kept you waiting long, Doran. <sighs> not at all. Then again, it is not I who awaits your arrival. Do you have the Moonstone with you? We do. We do. Good. It's as, as important to what happens next as both of you are. So what does happen next? What are these pillars here? A safeguard, I suspect. There is only one way to find out. And as for how to go about that, the two of you may know better than anyone. Uh, figure out how to enter the ruins. All right, so obviously we can push and pull these things. Right there, right? Yes, okay. And then the other one needs to point towards the sun symbol, Perhaps which it has is to do with the light and the darkness. that one. So let's try pulling this one. Akia. And see what it does to the... Yeah, there we go. Come on. No, 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 the other way, other way, other way. No. We'll just stay over here, I guess, until it gets there. Can't really see it from here, though. That did it. Look, Doran, a doorway. Yay, we did it. I suspect we all know what lies beyond that passage. Yeah, we probably and now, do. I'm afraid I must leave you. Okay. At least for a time. You're not coming in with us. Revelio. The herd will want to see the truth of it for themselves. Come in with us, Doran. We could really use your help, buddy. I will join as soon. Oh, this is pretty. So many books. You mm. haven't seen my grand study. A cap? Okay. Revelio. What do we have over here? Look <gasps> at the murals on the wall. Wow. They're all creatures. This is incredible. This place must have been built to protect them. Yeah. They had nothing to fear. Agreed. What makes you say that? The Pope's always felt oppressive. It's hard to explain, but the feeling was palpable. At least to me. The sense I get here is of safety and calm. Quite the opposite of the poacher camps. Confringo! Oh, that. <gasps> cool. <laughs> I shot it earlier with Confringo and nothing happened, so I was like, okay, that's not it. Revelio. Oops. All right, let's switch back to our defensive spells here. Wow, this is incredible. Look at this. Oh my gosh, look at this, you guys. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> Amazing. All right, let's hit this. Confringo. There's a chest back here. Cool. Let's bombard this. Whoa. Don't look back that way, Brandon. What's in here? Lumos. Lumos. Oh, do we want to go in here, Poppy? Okay, did we miss anything else out here? That's probably the way we're supposed to go, but I think we should go this way first. Just to see what's down here. <gasps> oh. 
Devil's Snare. What the heck is happening? Confringo! Lumos. Lumos! Wow, Lumos. look at this. This is crazy. Whoever built this place certainly liked to read. Yeah. And the books are all about creatures. Your Pretty gran would love it here. She would. I can't wait to tell her all about it. Anything else in here? Revelio. Nope. Lumos. All right, Poppy, let's get out of here. Lumos. I'll wager this isn't the dead end it seems to be. I've seen these but puzzles how before. To get through. And I did not know what to do with them. Should I, like, throw fire at this? Confringo! Oh, okay. Maybe then I use a purple spell on this. Oh, maybe freezing spell. That looks like it's... it's not... It was purple, so it threw me off. But of that's course. clearly what did it. How clever. Yeah, that's very clever. That makes sense. So yeah, use the corresponding spell. It just threw me off because it was purple. So I figured maybe it's like a purple spell that it wants. But yeah. Okay, makes sense. All right, here we go, Poppy. Do we have spiders Look to fight? Wow. It's beautiful, isn't it? Revelio. What baddies remain hidden back here? Go this way, Poppy. I love that the even though we're finished with the main story, the side quests are still so much fun. Although I don't think we have any more side quests after this. This is probably it. Who was that? What was that? Uh oh. And I should have killed all the cursed enemies, which it did. That's good. <laughs> I love that upgrade. No. Centaur! Hi! Oh, multiple centaurs. Hey, guys. Ready your wands. Oh! The fight was truly just. Oh, my God! You made a mistake. Let's throw some more of these guys down here. Oh! Yeah, you're despicable. Oh, ow, how dare you? <laughs> okay, you guys, what else do we have here? Let's use this. Wait, didn't work. Ah. Okay, we can't use we can't use Havada Kavada yet. Now we can. <laughs> I love that so much. Oh. Ah. Dang it, I need a yellow spell. Ah. Oh, good job. Good job. <laughs> oh. Ow, put me down. I think that was all of them. Oh. Are the two of you unharmed? Yeah, barely. Basically. Return before it was too late. We're fine. 
fine, but if you hadn't got here when you did, I led them here, Doran. You fought with us against your kind. I am glad to have witnessed this. The talent you- I now believe all that Doran told me. They are the ones I saw, Elec. Finish your work here, brother. All the events you divined have not yet come to pass. The talent to automatically heal when you defeat an enemy is such a good upgrade, you guys. You should get it. Look, we didn't even use a single wing and well potion during that fight because we kept healing after defeating enemies. And also the, uh, what do you call it? Um, the talent that when you when you use Havada Kedavra, that it defeats, that it kills all cursed enemies, that's a good upgrade too, if you ever use that spell. You oh. both fought bravely today. Allow us to carry the mantle from here. If it's all right, Doran, I think I'd like to stay behind and spend a little more time with the Snidgets. Yay, we did it. 